What's up everyone? This is Dre Guys here. Welcome back to another video. And well, I bought a new project car. Well, kind of needed a daily, so I bought a daily. But it's kind of like a, you know, just a cheap project car. But uh, here it is, guys. I'm going to show you. Oh, here she is. It's a 2000 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. It's just a... 1.9 liter it's pretty clean overall well it's dirty right now but it's pretty clean it's just missing a few parts like the grills the lip our front plate uh bracket or whatever and fender liner is like broken the door is mashed but uh the Wait, what's it called? The door panel is like all peeling up and whatever. Same thing with that door panel. Because, you know, German cars, of course. It's a manual. There was no way I was getting an automatic, you know. <laughs> and uh, actually, these manual cars are more reliable and more fuel economical than the automatic ones. So, let's pop the hood. I'll show you guys under the hood. Let's see. Well, that strut's broken, but uh, here's the engine. It's pretty clean. It runs. It's just missing the serpentine belt, but I'm going to go better go to O'Reilly and pick that up. Already put a new battery in it. But let's hear this thing purr. Let's start it up. It starts right up without a problem. And those lights are kind of dim. There you go. Why is it beeping? <laughs> oh, I think the battery's dead. <laughs> Get ready for the straight pipe. Oh man, that smells so good. The diesel smell. Oh man. I've always wanted a diesel. <laughs> Engine runs like a champ. It runs mint. Oh yeah. What's up guys? So this is actually the day before I bought the Jetta, but today I'm going to go to pick and pull. I found the exact mark for Jetta with the same color and has a perfect door. Uh the drive side door that I need, so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna pull it. And actually uh, well, a few days ago I went to the same pick and pull and I found this uh Mark V Golf GTI and I pulled the steering wheel off of there, so I'm going to install this steering wheel onto uh, my Jetta. So now let's go to pick and pull, and I'm gonna pull that door off. Check this out, we got a GLI over here. Pretty dope, same steering wheel I got. GLI, pretty nice, it's automatic though, so. Let's go pull that door, we got like five minutes left over here. All right guys, so here I found a perfect door. It's basically immaculate. A little bit scratched up, but that's fine. So let's take it off. Took off the fender liner, because I do need a fender liner. Let's start taking off this door now. There we go, got the door off. I just might uh, find a few more like interior pieces. I need the box cover but the glove box is gone on here so check that out we got another identical one okay it's a little different but it's the same I don't know this is gray cloth interior oh the shifter this one looks nice see I need that glove box cover the door but that one's gray Check that out, another Jetta. I need these grill pieces, but these are garbage. Look, another silver Jetta. <laughs> There's so many of them. So I just found this black Jetta. Leather interior, just like mine. The seats are immaculate. And the door panels. I'm about to rip all this out and take it. Look at this steering wheel. 
It's way cleaner than the one I have. Like, like this is brand new. Damn. Also gonna take this trunk uh, carpet or whatever, because mine's missing. Oh yeah, this is a gold find right here. Except I need this glove box right here, but <laughs> they broke it. Oh, I need this cover. I'm taking it. Oh man, it's broken. This out, guys. So I opened the hood on this thing. Boom, VR6, baby. Man, I gotta come pull this motor <laughs> before it's gone. But yeah, I took apart the whole interior. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, take off the steering wheel. I gotta take this piece. I need this piece. I'm gonna take off the steering wheel and all these vents and everything. So yeah. Yep. It's a VR6, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm back from the junkyard and I got a super good deal on all these parts. Sorry. So all of this is actually from a VR6, a Mark IV Jetta VR6, except the door. The door is from a Golf. Super clean door. This is a VR6 trunk mat or whatever. Uh, VR6 door panels, super good condition. VR6 seats. Well, I'm pretty sure I have the same exact seats, but these have no rips at all. And mine have a couple rips, but these are pretty clean seats. Uh, the glove box, my glove box broken. The two grills that I need on the bottom. The the lip. This is the armrest that I'm missing. It is broken, but at least uh, it's, I'll have a cover on it. This is a dash mat. The strut, license plate bracket, another door panel. Well, let's start uh, swapping the door. We'll be back tomorrow to the junkyard though, and I am going to pull off a few more parts. And we might go and pull that motor with my brother for his Mark III GTI. I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's, a, it's just a 2.0 and you know, naturally aspirated, but swap that VR6 into his GTI we might pull the motor because it's pretty cheap at pick and pull but here's his uh, Mark 3 GTI y'all go follow him at dirty Mark 3 it's pretty clean all right now let's actually start uh, swapping out the doors well, first thing you want to do is take off the fender and to that to do that you got to take off the fender liner and then there's gonna be like three bolts uh, behind the door here and take those off and the door should come right off all right guys so i didn't get to record because it got dark but i got the door replaced so here it is i, need, I still need to adjust it because it's very tight over here and it's a pretty big gap right here well, i'll do that later i just gotta install the fender liner back and that's it but i'll do all of that in the next video and yes if you guys noticed uh, this door does not match perfectly colors as you see right there but i think it's actually this door that has been repainted because if you look right here this does not match to a quarter panel at all so i think this is the right color and this door is the wrong color and i'm pretty sure this fender might have been repainted before also because it doesn't match also but that's whatever it'll do so we did actually go and pull that vr6 more my brother's uh mark 3 gti I'm gonna show you the motor right here. So here it is. It is a manual. That's pretty cool. And this is the engine and transmission. So it's a VR6, which is a inline V6 motor, 2.8 liter. And this is the 12 valves, which is the two valve per cylinder. So this is the 174 horsepower think but yeah so we will swap this engine into my brother's mark 3 uh, gti which is currently 2.0 but uh even the previous owner always wanted to do a vr6 swap on it but uh, i guess we're gonna do that all right so back to the jetta so since this is a mark 4 uh 1.9 tdi this has mechanical fuel injectors and since it has mechanical fuel injectors um, I can literally put some like vegetable oil or canola oil or even transmission fluid in the gas tank and it'll run like that perfectly fine 
and so this mark 4 1.9 tdi is way more reliable than the it's, it's the most reliable volkswagen diesel ever or I, I i think like the most reliable diesel from every diesel engine but and and it's pretty it's like the best one of the best tuning diesel engines so that's why i went for the mark 4 uh tdi and whoever doesn't know i used to drive a mark 5 uh, volkswagen jetta tdi it was an automatic it had like 300k miles on it and it was super unreliable it broke a lot <laughs> it was a pretty smooth car and it was pretty fun to drive i always, I always wished it was a manual and i always wished uh i could do a muffler delay and put an insect or something for more turbo noise because the turbo sounds good on these cars you'll see later when i do a straight pipe on it <laughs> But I ended up uh, totaling that car. I fell asleep and smashed into a tree. So I got it, and I can't wait to drive it. Still haven't really drove it. I drove it like a couple of feet in the here in the yard. But I guess that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and see you guys in the next one.